Run it. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my pen ready. Music licensing reimagined. Do everything in front of me. My smoke been heavy. Got a whole agenda. Can't aspire to get a hit. So bump that. It's no surrender. Got a dollar fifth. I'm trying to get it an FT. Like a wide receiver. This is Hines, and Hines can't break away. 33 on the clock. He'll give it to Hines. From the 25, two timeouts left. This one batted into the air and down to the grass. And did a heck of a job protection. They got the running game going, 100 yards rushing for Ronald Jones. That's a great start. Brady is taken down. Khalil Mack. Defense, Khalil Mack steps up and gets a sack. Yeah, against the rookie, Tristan Wirfs, and he's able to work around him and get to Brady. He's got him one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's had his hands full. Here to start Sunday's ball game against the LA Chargers. Boy, he has taken a lot of punishment tonight. He was not sacked last week. And he's sacked here. That'll be number three on the night. And he looks into the face of Khalil Mack again. He oversets, and so he comes inside of it. This is just too easy. I mean, you see how he's thinking a wide rush, and he gets a straight shot. You got to protect the inside. After start from their 10 yard line. No McCaffrey, fourth straight game. As Davis is bottled up, Porter did pick up the first, and now it is Davis. As we begin the second quarter, Kenny Albert, Jonathan Vilma, Shannon Speak, Bridgewater on third down in trouble. Down he goes. Sacked back at the 12-yard line, Khalil Mack playing in his 100th NFL game. They love seeing Akeem Hicks and Khalil Mack on the same side. When they do that, you just see the games. Like Khalil Mack stunts inside, Akeem Hicks gets in there. Panthers quickly back up to the line as Bridgewater hands it off to Davis, and he will not get there. On second down and one, here's Brown, he'll cut it back and just barely get back to the line of scrimmage. Rob it's still 10-3 here, third and two. Goff has pressure from Mack, that football came out. That's a live football, and the Rams rally to that football. I think Austin Corbett, the, the guard, might have come up with that. This get off, and watch this beautiful, just hand swipe and then turn the corner. and you. Malcolm Brown <laughs> lost on the play. Low snap. Rogers under pressure again. Gets sacked back in the three yard line. Mack and Leonard Floyd are both in there. The thing they want to do is surprise you with Khalil Mack. Here he comes. You see Balaga looking outside. That's the new guard, Billy Turner, who came over from Denver. They and did catch it. Touchdown throw. Play action for Flacco getting the pass rush and down he goes and it's Khalil Mack with the sack. He had none last week but was a presence up front for other people. Put your rookie tight end on this guy right here. 52 note to self Rich Scangarello. That's not a recipe to win football games. There's the first of the get year. Get the quarterbacks in rhythm with no huddle. Second down and eight. Play action for Keenum, and he's taken down. Ball came out at the end. Khalil Mack with the sack. Look at number 52 here, Khalil Mack. He's one of the best players in the National Football League. But guess what? You got to block him. Somebody has to come over here and block Khalil Mack. Nobody does. That is too easy. It looks to be in a pressure front. There's Keenum trying to step up into that pocket. Ball came out. And it is recovered by the Bears. That looked like Trevathan coming out with it. There it is. So six penalties against Washington already. Ball is out. And there's a fight for it. And it looks like Akeem Hicks has it. That was Khalil Mack being a disruptor again. The football. You don't have to get the quarterback down. Watch the right hand of Khalil Mack. Go after the ball. The rubs here. 
Thompson met and taken down, and Mack was right on top of him. And here comes Mack. So Khalil Mack, a couple of years ago, the defensive player of the year, couldn't come to terms with the Raiders. And then in a stunning trade, the Packers were also involved in the negotiations. Move Graham over to Mack's side. And Mack pushes Graham right into Rodgers, and the pass for Cobb is incomplete to make it third down and ten. Four-man rush. Here he comes. Look out. Down he goes at the 25-yard line. Roy Robertson Harris, number 95, with the sack. With four wide here on third and goal. Again, the pump fake, and this time he will get sacked, lose the ball, and Mack took the ball away. Khalil Mack already paying dividends in his first game as a Chicago Bear. Third and 19. And this time he's going to go down. It's going to be picked off by Mack. Mack with the interception. And Mack will take it all the way in for a touchdown. How crazy was that? Robertson Harris extracted the ball. 28 yards and Khalil Mack is already the defensive MVP of the season. 17 for Stafford. And the screen pass to DeAndre Swift. Swift wending his way inside the 40. He's third and six now for New York. Opening drive for the Giants. Jones pumped big. Jones in trouble. And Jones is sacked. And the Bears have the football. Or Quinn, the newest Bear, gets in there. Left side of your screen. Mack with a bull rush in tandem with Akeem Hicks. Daniel, the next year in Thomas. Second and three. Lewis bangs inside to the 47 and a half. John Lewis, single setback. Jones. Oh, he is tossed down by Khalil Mack. Jones didn't have a chance. There's Mack, and he's working against the rookie left tackle who did not know what to do on that one. Third and goal for Atlanta. Ryan hit from behind. Down he goes. All the guys coming up, blitzing, getting inside. You see Robert Quinn ready to go. And this blitz, it's only a matter of time. A great coverage right there. Buster screen down at the bottom. Initially, by the officials on the field. Here's Hill once again. Dock could start from the 15, curling to the outside. Gain of two. Cook, eight carries, 15 yards in the first half. Cousins loses the football. Strip sack and a takeaway by Chicago who else but Khalil Mack left tackle against Mack and he gets low and under and then the acceleration to the quarterback I mean that's the bend right there make a throw down the field probably in the middle of the field on this one his cousin standing in the pocket Mack got to him and another marker down as they sack Cousins for a second time. You have the guard come over. Here you go, Riley. You got him. And I'm going to come over and help the offline. Nope. I'm just going to keep going. I mean, look at the effort. Boom. Push. Bull rush. Back into. And I'm going to continue to bull rush. I mean. And the ball gets loose. And Jacobs is going to try to get to it. And the scrum is on. Bears get it. There's their first break of the game. You've got the bad pitch from Carr to Jacobs right here. It just gets by. Don't try to scoop this with one hand. Just jump on it. He doesn't get that done. Three timeouts. L.A. three timeouts in a one-point game. And Rivers going to throw it on first down. And he is sacked all the way back at the 11-yard line. Here's a handoff to Murray, and there's Mack in on the stop with Urban. And a loss of that tight end position with the speed that he possesses. On first down, Breeze ball comes out. And Breeze able to get back on top of it. A flag is down as well. Andrews Pete got there driven. No foul for illegal contact as the quarterback had fumbled the football. Get any help from your offense, eventually you just break. Here is Camara, well played up front. Oh, 
Here's a toss to Kamara, and he does not get it. What a job by the Chicago defense and Roquan Smith. Probably just plucks the ball. And here's Henry. Tell you what, the Bears have done a good job against first and ten at the 43 of the Bears. And here's Derrick Henry. Tell you, this is a gritty game. Bonus coverage of the Chiefs and the pesky Panthers coming up after this game. Deontay Foreman is coming the game now. First and ten from the 28. Cousins fires. Feel for feeling and intercepted. It's Khalil Mack the other way for Chicago. And Cousins has to run him out of bounds. See Khalil Mack drop out in coverage. He takes a nice typical linebacker drop. You see Thielen Bowers unable to take advantage. There's Dalvin Cook. See if they get a big gain on first down on the Jones again. It's funny when we were meeting with uh, Aaron and uh... Gotta go! It was second down and five. Duke Johnson and stuck right there by Mack who tears the ball away. That's a fumble, and it's Chicago's ball. At the 40-yard line, Khalil Mack. With a big time play right there, his third forced fumble of the season. Into the backfield, making contact and then just stripping and tugging at the football. Getting great help. QT in motion, first and ten. Watson. And it down and in the air, and they try on the ricochet. And they... In fact, of the last few weeks, and, and maybe he's just tired of hearing about it. He comes off the ball, he had the forced fumble. Lady! Set. Through again, they got him, and it's Mack with a safety. Big time hit. Khalil Mack comes up with his first sack in five games. And with Mack out there, only 19 total yards for Seattle, and nothing doing there. He says, "I'll take care of the outside. You know what? You're gonna run the ball at me. I'll come around, dive, and make the tackle." Third and 17. Mack strips it. He is unbelievable. Khalil Mack strips it down. Seattle recovers, but if there's a quarterback with the ball, he's got to find him this year. He led the nation in rushing in college last year. They can keep feeding him. This time he only goes ahead for a yard. Pitch to Penny. He was met hard that time at the 20-yard line. And they give it to David Johnson. And Johnson's going to be knocked back. And the Bear force led by Khalil Mack. What an impact he has made on this entire team. And eight for Bradford and the Cardinals. And Bradford is going to lose yardage. That's not a good sign. Khalil Mack gets to him. And Mack with his third sack of the season. So grateful that he could play again after those knee problems. And they were big. Second down and eight. Stumbles forward and loses the ball. Bears have it. Khalil Mack. Well, here he comes stumbling around here. No, that ball is out. Khalil Mack puts his shoulder pad directly. Look at that. Arm, shoulder pad on the, on the football. And they're coming after him this time. And the ball is loose. Jaquiz Rogers able to pick it up. But a big hit by who else? That's what they like. Cousins is set. He had a moment, but he didn't get rid of it, and in came the Bears. They'll keep it on the ground, try to come towards us, and losing yardage. Give to Jones, and Aaron Jones does not get there. Can they force a punt right here in this series? And for pressure on Rodgers, they get it, and he is sacked. The first sack they've had in two games against them, and Mack was there. Mingo helped as well. Their edge rushers start to get some pressure. Khalil Mack coming from the bottom, going to work upfield against Billy Turner. Now just chase. Protection's breaking down. Akeem Hicks right there pushing that pocket. A team with this kind of talent defensively, it's going to be hard. They're in on quickly, and it's incomplete. The ball was tipped. Hard to get pressure when you got three guys standing there and the tackles there as well. There he is. There's Mack. 
Let's add to that. Giants and the Bears have met six times in an NFL championship game. Bears won for the six, and the ball is loose. And the Bears have recovered it. Stripped out of there by Khalil Mack. And then Nick Williams able to get it down inside the five-yard line. Jump right here and just beats him off the ball, gets extension. And look at that big club come around, and that's the 14th fumble, 10th loss for Daniel Jones. Just a great play by Mack. Third down and three. Prescott chased by Khalil Mack. He got it. Ball comes out, but Prescott was down, but Khalil Mack makes a play for this Bears defense. It's such a great job by Khalil Mack, and, you know, Dak Prescott, he, he has the advantage right there. I mean, he's out in front, a guy who can run, but Khalil Mack, he's able to run him down and make a tackle. Prescott probably picks up the first down. It would have been a collision. That takes some pressure off of him. Line up with five receivers here. Mahomes under pressure, and he will go down. Khalil Mack gets the sack. One right here. Look how wide the split is, which is going to give him a little extra room on Eric Fisher. And so many times, Mack hits you with that stab, that one arm stab, almost right in the throat. And yet that time he just kept going wide and no problem. Take over. Stafford on first down, goes down inside the 20 yard line. Coming from the outside, you've got a tight end over there, but no help on the release. It, it, you know, I don't know if you're primary right there, but you know how he can take a game. But not today. Stafford is checked again. And it's Mack on the attack. Khalil Mack worked the whole time because he's got great coverage down the field. Just drives Taylor Decker back. Time runs, short, quick throws. Ninth play of this drive, and the ball is out. Cook lost it. Bears think they have it. Waiting for the signal. They do. That good looking drive. Ball is out. Khalil Mack caused it. Chicago ball. Under pressure again. Can he get away? No, he can't. Of course it's Mack. Play clock at one. Goff under pressure and he gets it away. Khalil Mack forced the issue. What else is new? And he was outside the pocket, so there's no grounding his fourth down. Pressure on Rodgers. He's going down. And that's where Khalil Mack is. Rodgers on third and ten. He is smothered. Give Mack and... Bilal Nichols, the rookie credit. This offense, he was predominantly on the defensive right side going against Bakhtiari. Now he's moved over here. Watch just the strength. Now you've, given, you've got to go one-on-one -on -one with him every once.